game. Of course, it's been a little hard to find now because of COVID, but I am on YouTube, so follow me there, please. I'm a brony. Anybody? Yes. Yeah. 
best of a bad situation? Making the best of a bad situation. That's good. All right, with the ears. Doing what's right in your heart. Love it. Is there one over here? Else? Else? Say what? Say what? I like that one. Okay. Yes. Overcoming the hardships and not running away from them. Overcoming hardships and not running away from them. Good. Yes. Doing something even when you're afraid to do it. Doing something even when you're afraid to do it. Yes. Thank you. And that includes speaking up here. Don't be afraid. All right. I'm here. I've been there. Actually, my first go to was in 2006. I'm ancient. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Any, someone say something else? Common Rider. 
there anything else on what, what makes a hero number one before we move on to some others I wanted to bring up? Let's go. Confidence. Don't worry about what other people think. Hold your head high and plunge forward. Bars. Yeah. The <laughs> Didn't put a date on that. But you'll notice I do source every single one of my photos because artists always deserve credit. Right. 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 Thank you. I'm not a trained professional. 
more gambling, you will feel like you're doing a lot better. <laughs> if you're standing, make sure you're not locking your knees. Keep those knees bent. You don't want to feel any tingling or booziness. But if you do this for a while, you're going to feel super positive, right? It's also very good for your back. It's great for your back, yes. <laughs> All right, hands back to your hips. Breathe deeply here. One more deep breath. This time, let it up. Big exhale. All right, you can sit down. Now, as you're sitting down, don't move. Look at how you're sitting right now. So I told a lot of you to sit up straight, but differences in how you sit can also be those power poses. So if you're sitting with your legs and your arms crossed, they're going to look like really small, right? Heroes like to look big. I'm not going to say this, but man, it's hard to make sure you're more confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right? <laughs> when you're in a chair, if you've got your legs crossed and you're leaning back, you're going to look more confident. But if you're leaning forward, it looks less confident. So when you see heroes, they always have these big poses. Yes, big poses. we got to hold your heels in massive poses. Aww. <laughs> yeah. And one of the things that happens is that it actually lets other people when they see you, not only do you feel more confident, but they see when they think you're confident. So, if you had a small mic, you're, you're technically small mic, okay, so you can just stand up and do a small mic pose. Okay, turn around and face the audience. That's the small mic pose. <laughs> and this is the old mic pose, right? <laughs>
And there's a section where they just ask questions that you have to answer, like interviews, and you have no time to prepare. So it helps you think on your feet, and it helps you get more confident in front of an audience. And it has achievements. So if you conquer the Toastmasters list, which is about 500 hours of speaking, you get a medallion. I got the medallion, guys. <laughs>
plus checking off things from your list. Doesn't that feel good? For me, it is. <laughs> I love it. But we have to talk about the deep dark side. I'm not just like a video. This is from yeah. Alter. Alright, so we got sleep in blue, work in green, food in red. I can't fit games into my schedule and they're like, or can I? And they're trying to remove sleep to fit in video games. Who's done this? Yes, me too. It can be YouTube or YouTube. It can be anything, right? You try and fit it in and then you sacrifice a little bit of yourself. Is that healthy? No. Usually not. You need to get your healthy amount of sleep, especially to stay healthy. So time is the biggest issue. Prioritization. Not only is this a big word, it's also an important word. What's most important to you? So think about that goal. Why have you not been doing it? Just think about it to yourself. Why have you not been doing it? What's more important than this goal that you're putting in front of it? That's the prioritization part. So for me, you know, like you said, YouTube, scrolling, okay, there's some things that maybe you can cut out. Commute, ooh, well maybe if I'm studying Japanese, I could listen to training uh, audio instead of listening to music. So think about what you put first. Also, listen to your excuses. Remember I mentioned mindfulness? Listen to the reasons that you have not done the thing. Why have you not done the thing? And those excuses are valid, but you can change them. All right? So listen to the excuses. If you need to journal, if people like journaling, just write it down. Write down your thoughts, right? Journaling can be very valuable. Write down the reasons why you're not doing it. And uh, as you saw at the beginning here, technology failures can also cause delays. Yes. But you just kind of ad lib, go with it, try to find other things. Like this, uh, I, I knew that the microphone part of this computer did not work, but now I know that the external audio does not also work. So now this is literally just a presentation machine. I love my baby, but it is seven years old. Oh, I know, right? It's like, oh, look at that ancient laptop. Uh, and the most important, fear. Heroes can have fear. Heroes do have fear. Heroes overcome fear. And instead of running away, they move forward. And instead of saying, I can't, if you say you can't, most of the time you can't. You're just saying you have consciously or unconsciously chosen not to. So you are saying, I won't. Not that you can't, unless you physically cannot do the thing. You are telling yourself you won't, but in a way that sounds different. So those excuses and the I can'ts, you have to overcome by going beyond Plus Ultra. All right. So that's smart goals, and these are reasons why things don't happen. So how do we make it work? Set deadlines. We talked about that. Lists, charts. Who's heard of an accountability buddy? Oh, oh, you've got your buddy with you. Yeah. All right. Good job. So accountability buddies is somebody that you've told about the thing, your goal. And you said, I am going to do this, whether it's going to the gym, doing homework, saving money. Tell someone about it, and it's been statistically proven that if you just tell someone, you are more likely to do the thing. Isn't that crazy? So take that thing you're thinking of and tell someone you trust about the thing and tell them to tell you to do the thing and then tell them to remind you to do the thing on oh, yeah, whatever pace it is. Or maybe they want to do the thing with you, like the gym buddy, right? So you go say, okay, we'll go two times a week. We'll go on Wednesdays and we'll go on Saturdays. Right? Okay? Something like that. Accountability buddies are fantastic. And if you don't have an accountability buddy, you don't know anyone, that's what online forums are for, whether it's a Discord server or a chat room or even the dreaded Facebook, right? You can find groups where people want to do the thing too and then have one of them be your buddy. All right? So find a buddy. 
And then we talked about making lists. Visualization. Does anyone here do positive visualization? Oh, wow, we've got a few. Okay. So for some people, thinking of the goal and seeing yourself doing the goal at the finish line with the gold medal, or seeing yourself get this presentation, or maybe looking in the mirror and telling yourself, I am strong. I can do it. All of those things can help you. And that kind of ties into affirmation as well. So visualization and affirmation, again, if you have to take a photo, those are things that you can do that will help you to get the thing done. They're not the only ones, but it's the start. All right? Other ways to help you do the thing, and this is where you'll be volunteering more, apps. This is an ancient Duolingo one they have updated many times since. Yeah. But Duolingo is for languages. Uh, Habitica will help you with doing errands and things. Google Keep, I've heard, is also like another one where you can do lists. Tick, tick. I have not used it, but my colleague who helped me build this did. My fitness pal or any fitness uh, fit watches, things like that. Inktober, uh, I should cross that off because we don't want to support Inktober anymore. Let's put that in right now. Change that to Super Art Bites. There you go. If you haven't read about it, you can Google it. But the person who did that stole art and was trying to make money off it, so we don't support Inktober anymore. Super Art Bite, now Rhino. That's writing novels. You write a 50,000 page book in one month by setting goals, 6,500 words per day, all month. Others? Word animal. Word animal. Animal. Word anvil. Yeah. Word anvil. Thank you. Other things that you do to help you do the thing. Now, great for work, uh, world building for D&D. Ooh. Yeah. World building for D&D. Ooh. Love it. Anybody use any of them? A planner? Oh, yeah. 24 hour planner. Yeah, I actually have a physical notebook as well. Journal. Yep. In the back. Street on iOS. Street? Street. Like I'm on a street. Street. Yeah. Street. Ah, yes. Like a cheese thing. Yeah, perfect. Yes. OneNote. OneNote. Yes. Although it is owned by the credit Microsoft, OneNote is an amazing way to organize. I use it at work. Great, so search for things that will help you. People generally want to make money by helping other people, but if it helps and it works, do it. Trust me, $3 a month or $2.99 a month on the App Store may be worth it if it helps you to get the results. But again, you have to budget, so take it for what it's worth. All right, here's a famous quote. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks only once. But I fear the man who's practiced one singular kick 10,000 times. Sounds familiar, right? Yes. All right, that was by the famous Bruce Lee. He said, if one person has done one thing and they get good at that thing, guess what? They're good at the thing. Instead of having a knowledge of a lot, now I will say, I am a jack of all trades, right? I am good at a lot of small things, but I'm not great. What are the interns doing with Endeavor right now? They're practicing, and they're practicing one thing, and they're getting good at that one thing. They're practicing their speed, right? And Deku is specifically practicing one move so that he can get good at it because Endeavor said, do it so well you can do it without thinking. Do it in your sleep. Thank you. That's what this quote means, and that's what they're showing right now. And if you practice the same thing over and over and over again, you will get better at it. The hardest part is starting, right? I try to do Japanese every morning. Did I do Japanese this morning? No. Will I do it when I get home? Yes. You're all going to hold me accountable, so after I bring the sign, do the homework. Uh, I'm actually, so you know, down in the dealers at the Japan America Society? They have a table, and they offer reasonably priced Japanese lessons, so I am taking it through them because my accountability is my pocketbook, my money. I paid them a few hundred dollars to take this Japanese class. You better bet I am at that class and I do the homework. Because for me, if I pay for it, then you know. If you pay for it, it's your money.
money, you gotta do it, or else you feel like you just wasted your entire life and then you seek professional help. Which is also something I've done, so trust me, it's worth it. But yeah, maybe money speaks, maybe you wanna do that class. In the Pan American Society, they do free stuff, they do soccer and auditorium, they're here for DC in the spring, with cherry blossoms and festivals, it's amazing. They do movie screenings, lots of cultural stuff. So I have found an organization that does the thing that I want to do, and I've joined it, and I'm taking classes. So again, find that network of others that enjoy the thing you like, and then practice it. And before we get to our next section, we have to talk about when that you get to a milestone, you must reward yourself. Maybe not like that. Yeah. <laughs> right? And even if you are not first, or even if you're first and you feel like you don't deserve it, know that you put in the effort, right? Last place still means that you did it. Last place still means that you did it. And the only reason that you want to get first is because people always have competition on the mind, just like those likes and follows. I think that's not a competition. Those likes and those follows are a competition, but who is it with? Everyone? Does that make any sense? Your competition should be with yourself. The only person that matters to beat is the person you were yesterday. And if you can be better than that, you are a hero. Oh, yes, I do really. 
Yeah. And there's lots of ways to measure that. And so we've got a complete nerd up here that has more information about it. Again, I'd love to discuss it at the end if you'd like. <coughs> other questions or comments? Yes? One, one other lesson for all life is that sometimes you may feel like you're taking a step back. <coughs> that's okay because that's what will allow you to take three steps forward. Ah. So another lesson from all life is that if you take one step back, it allows you to take those three steps forward after you've overcome that challenge. Thank you. others 
allows you to show your respect for them by letting them finish their thought and then trying again. That's why I said take turns is one of the rules here. Yes? Yeah. Yes. So if you're interrupting or you have or you want to say something, say excuse me, acknowledge them, repeat what they said. That's a really good way of doing it. Thank you. Uh, don't make assumptions, right? If you hear something and you think they made an implication, maybe repeat it back and say, did you really mean to say this? What I heard is, uh, and you can search that, it's called reflective listening, where you repeat what they say back to you. So again, we only have like a couple more minutes, but reflective listening is where even if someone says something rude, Say, wait a second, did you mean to say that because I heard you say this thing and it's offensive to me? And they may not know it. Sometimes people are ignorant and don't realize how dumb they say things, okay? Sometimes they actually are mean, but when you say it back to them, they're like, oh, that sounds a lot worse. And sometimes they're just horrible and you have to keep doing it. But that's all in reflective listening. Understanding others, right? So we talked about this, but that's where we talked at the beginning about how endeavor is not. Does he listen to others? Does he know their motivation? And of course, everyone has different personality types. So I'm not gonna get into that because this will take forever, but there is a thing called Myers-Briggs. <laughs> some people believe it, some people don't, but it's personality. So another way to be a hero is to understand that the way that you are, whether you're outgoing or shy, whether you like to listen first, whether you like to talk first, whether you want to really understand other people's feelings or you have to talk about yourself, all of those things will help you interact with others because everyone has a different personality. And being able to maneuver through that and maybe acknowledge, hey, for me personally, I like to go straight to business. No good morning, no chit chat, let's go. That's who I am. I'm better, right? Other people are like, whoa, you didn't even acknowledge me. And here we are moving forward, like endeavor, totally. Go ho, doesn't even say hi. But all night, maybe he's the person that's like, Young Midori, how are you today? It's a fun morning. Different personalities. So acknowledge that. And with that, unfortunately, we only have a few more minutes. So I will play this video and I will talk over it.